Hello everyone, uh, welcome to our channel. I am Rizwan Ansari. In this course, we will learn about Azure Machine Learning and we will design a complete machine learning solution, uh, machine learning model. In this whole course, uh, we will uh, discuss about the machine learning and its type. Uh, what is machine learning workflow? Uh, Azure Machine Learning and it uh, machine learning is, uh, Azure Machine Learning Studio. Then we will also uh, get uh, uh, Azure Machine Learning a great uh, Microsoft platform through which we can create, maintain, and distribute a real world machine learning solutions. Uh, similarly, we will go into deep. Uh, we'll do deep drive into machine learning model. We will evaluate the model. Finally, we will deploy the Azure Machine Learning. And we will again uh, see the maintainability. In this uh, part of video, I will introduce the machine learning concept and introduction, how it is different uh, from traditional uh, programming and machine learning method or types. So today, uh, AI and machine learning is very common. We all are using its application in our daily life, either knowingly or unknowingly. Therefore, I can say it is everywhere. We are using various social medias where we can we are we get recommendation of pays, forum, products, likewise video ads. Additionally, we know uh, they know like uh, Facebook or uh, you can say other social medias like LinkedIn, Twitter. They all uh, know which post will be reshared or repost or retweet. Uh, we buy any products online, then the product recommendation and reviews. That is a part of AI. If we take today mobile camera, uh, when you take a picture, some of the camera I saw, like it will show your age, your uh, emotions, identify the object, like whether it is a food, scenario, or person. So there are and uh, there are numerous uh, applications in banking center like loan approving, fraud detection, uh, customer identification, customer verification, many more. Similarly, these days almost all the apps uh, that we are using in mobile, most of them are using AI and its application. Even uh, if we do air ticketing, traveling, all these are using some kind of machine learning model. So uh, concept of AI or machine learning. So I'll start with very basic one. You can see this picture. So this is a bird. How? We have seen many birds which have same property like features, legs, eye, beak, so in actual, I have never seen this exact bird in my life. However, I'm 100% sure this is a bird. Let's see the another, this picture. This is a dog. Again, we are clear based on what we know or data we have in our brain. Let's see this picture. Is it a bird? Mm, maybe because most of the properties are matched, are matching with bird. Then again, beak is missing. Mouth doesn't look like a bird. Despite we are not hundred percent sure about beak or mouth, we can say this looks like a bird. Check this image. The fourth one. What is your prediction on this? Is it a man? Mm, no. Is it a bird? Mm, again, no. This image is weird. Uh, I can't. I can't identify. It. Why? We have not seen this kind of creature before. We don't have data on this. This is exactly AI or machine learning. So machine learning is unquestionably one of the most influential and powerful technology in the today's world. There is no doubt it will be continue to be making headlines for the foreseeable futures. Machine learning is a tool for turning information into knowledge. 
it is a subset of AI that gives more predictive outcome based on historical data without being explicitly programmed to do so. And more importantly, whatever we know about the machine learning on today, this is not its full potential. There is lots, lots of more things that need to be done. In, la in the past 50 years, there has been an explosion of data. This mass data is useless unless we examine it and find the pattern hidden inside the data. Traditionally, the data are used for mainly two purposes. Two purpose as a record to know what happened and to identify the root cause of why it happened. However, from last decade, a new dimension has been added that is AI, machine learning. Machine learning techniques are used to auto automatically find the valuable underlying patterns within a complex data that we would otherwise struggle to discover. The hidden patterns and knowledge is about is about a problem that can be used to predict the future events and perform all kind of complex decision making so uh, if we discuss about traditional programming methodology so what we do we get the data we analyze the data then we write different condition that is a certain kind of rules in the programming using uh, different uh, tools that is if else, else, case, while, for and we produce the result that is uh, already predefined like based on which condition the output what will get. However, the machine learning is completely different from the traditional programming. Here we don't use any uh, fixed condition or static programming to produce the results. We use data and process the data. Process in the sense first we will clean and format the data. Then we use various algorithm on the data based on the problems. Then we analyze the uh, algorithms. Then we build a model. Now machine learning types. So based on the different type of data that is level or unlevel. The machine learning methods are categorized into four different types that is supervised, unsupervised, semi-supervised and reinforcement. Now if I say about uh, this uh, two first types that is supervised and unsupervised, these are mostly used one. Slowly this semi-supervised and the new one reinforcements are coming into the picture. Now in the next video, we will discuss a bit more about what is supervised and unsupervised machine learning. And then we will continue further with our uh, this course. Thank you. If you like the video, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.